Did I get your attention? <laughs> yeah. Do you wanna know why, why, why? Mm, 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 mm. Because you guys, get this, get this. Y'all bitched at him to shut down the economy for a pandemic of a virus that has a 99% survival rate. That's why. That's why. And then now y'all bitching. Now y'all bitching. He didn't do it. And then he did. And now y'all bitching. Y'all bitching for something that you asked for. You. You're the reason the economy sucks right now. You. Not Trump. Have a great day.
clothes when we're not working out. We drink white wine in the day. That's what white moms is about. We don't trust white men. We're on similar wages. We fuck without a condom because that shit's not contagious. White moms. Be like, fuck the police. White moms. We really fuck the police. I got pulled over by a cop named Ted. He goes, I'll tear this ticket up if you give me some head. I told him, no, not today. I resisted arrest. Girl, I'ma beat that, beat that, two spots, two spots. I always wanted to do this. Can I take your order? Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll have a chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and balloon. Yo! Stop! Please stop with that TikTok shit! Just stop, please! Hey, bro, it was just a joke. Shut up! Bro, you know how many times I gotta hear people talk about chicken wing, chicken wing? Shit is not funny. And you know we got cameras at the drive through right? I see you. You're too big, bro. You don't need chicken wings. You need some asparagus, some broccoli, an apple. Get your TikTok and ass up out of here. Y'all bitches don't know how to fucking deep throw the disrespectfully drunk jello shot. Y'all not about this motherfucking life. I'ma show you how it needs to be motherfucking done. First, y'all gotta relax your motherfucking jaw. Then you gotta motherfucking relax your goddamn throat. Then you gotta put the tip in slowly. And then take it back. Are you ready for this though? Because I'm ready. Here we go. And that's how you take a disrespectfully drug shot. Let's get it. Ugh. Partigiano, portami via, che mi sento di morire. E se muoio da partigiano, oh bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Can I buy you a drink? No, sorry, it's bad for my legs. Why? Do they swell? No, they spread. So, this video was supposed to be about the ladies. Um, but obviously it was like a mix. Like, I respect the ladies so much. But I'm also not going to make a video. Um, a feminist video, I guess you could say, right? A feminazi video. But, unfortunately I have to cut and switch to this. Hello, I'm Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco. We have all recently learned of the new regional approach to combating COVID-19 and the pending closure and stay-at-home orders from our governor. We were also told there was a potential he would be withholding federal and state funding from counties who did not enforce the orders. Ironically, it wasn't that long ago our same governor loudly and publicly argued how wrong it was for the President of the United States to withhold federal funding from states not complying with federal laws. The dictatorial attitude toward California residents while dining in luxury, traveling, keeping his business open, and sending his kids to in-person private schools is very telling about his attitude toward California residents, his feelings about the virus, and it is extremely hypocritical. These closures and stay-at-home orders are flat-out ridiculous. The metrics used for closures are unbelievably faulty and are not representative of true numbers and are disastrous for Riverside County. 
When the medical field is so split about this virus, it might be time to employ a little common sense. Keeping money and support from our hospitals who are struggling with normal, seasonal increases in patients coupled with COVID-19 patients is irresponsible. It appears part of the new goal is to shift attention away from his and others' personal behavior with a do-as-I-say-not-as-I-do attitude by turning public opinion against California sheriffs. He is expecting us to arrest anyone violating these orders, cite them and take their money, close their businesses, make them stay in their homes, and take away their civil liberties, or he will punish all of us. I believe that all jobs are essential to someone. Leaders do not threaten, attempt to intimidate, or cause fear. Bullies do. As has been our position from the beginning of this pandemic, the Sheriff's Department is asking and expecting Riverside County residents to act responsibly and do what they can to protect themselves and their family from contracting the virus. Wear your mask and practice social distancing. While the Governor's Office and the state has threatened action against violators, the Riverside County Sheriff's Department will not be blackmailed, bullied, or used as muscle against Riverside County residents in the enforcement of the governor's orders. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a safe and Happy New Year. I hope you all are listening as with all the trouble you're going through, you cannot be traveling during these holidays. Says the guy with his own private jet. As much as you want it, I, I have a large family. We, uh, you probably, I used to, Barack used to kid me about it. I mean. And it's been proven that Barack's two daughters are not even his. They're not even uh, Michelle's or Michael Robinson's. They're um, rented. Everything for me is family, beginning, middle, and end. When one comes, everybody comes. Do you think I'm joking? I'm not. You know, <laughs> we would have 16 people go away every Thanksgiving. My deceased son, before he passed away, uh, we'd all go away, and we'd go away on Thanksgiving to be just a, a nuclear family. Mom, dad, sons, daughters, husbands, wives, grandchildren. And... Uh, we the first time we had a we had a Thanksgiving with my wife and myself, my daughter in the region and her husband, who's a doctor in the region. That's it. All my other kids, everybody else in the family was on Zoom on Thanksgiving, which doesn't. Well, Christmas is going to be a lot harder. But they're starting to roll out the vaccines and they're giving you a twelve hundred dollar stimulus if you get it. The, uh, if you get vaccinated but it's gonna be a lot harder. And, you know, I, want, I don't wanna scare anybody here, but understand the facts. We're likely to lose another 250,000 people dead. That sounds like a projected number. Like you're projecting 250,000 more Americans dead. Just like Barack Obama had projected the COVID-19 or the, 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 the big pandemic. It seems like you already know that number, just like you already knew there was a virus. Yeah. Between now and January. It just, it seems like the people who didn't want Trump to be in office voted for somebody who plans on killing 250,000 Americans. That's what it seems like to me. And quite frankly, we don't have to have 250,000 people, more people dead between now and January, it's currently what? December 5th. So you mean to tell me that within the next 25 days, there's gonna be 250,000 people dead. Do the math guys, 250,000 divided by 25. That's about 100 people a day that are gonna die from COVID-19. It's pretty fucked up guys. You hear me? Because people aren't paying attention. Please, everybody, like this video and then just share, 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 share the, 
you know what? Out of this video, just share it. He wants people to wake up. He wants people to pay attention. Fine, let's pay attention. He plans on killing 250 Americans. There's... I actually count other days. It's more like uh, 26 days from December... I mean, if, uh, until January 1st. 26 days until January 1st. So, 250,000... Divide that by 26 days, and then here is the number that you'll end up with. I'm going to do the math. Here's the number you're going to end up with per day. That That's how many people he plans on killing. So, share this video, please. Let's wake up. Let's pay attention. Thank you. God bless America. God bless you. Peace.